Hello and welcome to the Z-Hut. Today I'd like to show you how to use the moisture sensor the proper and correct way with your Arduino. Now whether you're using Arduino Nano, Arduino Uno, Arduino Mega, or pretty much any of the Arduino boards, this uh, tutorial will show you the proper and correct way to connect that to your Arduino board. Now in this uh, tutorial I'm just going to simply use the UNO. That's one of the most common Arduino boards that are out there. But uh, to start with we'll take a look at the sensor here and um, then I'll show you how we hook it up. Now the, the moisture sensor comes in, in two parts. There's this little piece here that's got the, the points on it that actually goes into the, your soil and that's the YL69. Then there's this little circuit board that comes with it, and that's the YL38. Now, to hook this up to your Arduino, there is one big thing that I see a lot of people do, and that is, for most purposes, you do not need the YL38 circuit board. What this has is there's, um, a voltage in, a ground, and then there's an analog out and a digital out. Now this isn't really designed specifically for the Arduino. It's a part you can buy to use in lots of different applications. So it comes with this. And the main reason for this, if you're going to use this, is if you want a digital on or off, where you control the sensitivity with this little potentiometer here. And then if the soil gets to a certain dryness, it pretty much just works like a transistor and allows the power to flow through. So for most Arduino applications, you don't need this unless you just want to have it sent into the Arduino a digital high or digital low. Now, if you want to be monitoring the exact analog, you can run it through this, but honestly, it's just a waste. It's not needed. It's using extra power, especially if you want to use this battery operated. You don't need it. And actually, the readings come out backwards compared to if you just hook this up and uh, hook it to an analog pin and read it. So my recommendation is less you want a digital high or digital low signal, and you would then connect it to one of your digital pins, and then you just set your sensitivity with the potentiometer and um, when the the soil reading gets dry enough it'll also turn on a little LED on here but then it'll also power that pin so you could use that to drive a transistor or something but otherwise for Arduino you don't need this um, just set it aside forget about it <laughs> you don't need it now for the YL69 hook it to your Arduino, there's simply just two pins. And we'll put the jumper in here. And it doesn't matter which side you hook to which, um, but I do recommend if you are using this a lot and it's constantly hooked up, like once a month, just switch the jumpers around, switch the polarity on it, because you will notice one side will get a little more corroded than the other over time. And if you switch the polarity, it'll make the sensor actually last longer. Now to connect it, we just simply need to go to a 5-volt pin. And there's a 5-volt pin there. And then we need to hook it to an analog pin. And I'll just randomly pick one, analog pin 1. Now what you do in the Arduino IDE for the sketch, you just analog read whichever analog pin that you've just connected this to, and then you can use your if statements or whatever, whatever you need to put in, you know, to control like a, a water solenoid or an alarm or whatever you're setting up maybe if it gets some. Um, the soil gets so dry it uh, sets off a tone. You could hook a speaker up to one of your um, one of your digital pins, and um, that's all there is to it. 
like I said, don't waste your time with this. If you're using the analog, it actually is way more sensitive without this. It works better. It eliminates a part that you don't need. It's just pointless. Um, the only application I would use this in is if you were not using the Arduino board and you had this hooked to it, and um, then you of course have your five volts going into it and in ground, and then on the digital out pin, hook it to like a buzzer or an LED, so that when the soil gets so dry and that's what you set with this to trigger it. You know, you'd have that alarm that would go off. It'd be a visual with a LED or an audio with a buzzer. Or you could also use a 555 timer to make a buzzer if you don't actually have a little 5 volt buzzer. But uh, it's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, I'm not going to bother showing you any kind of sketch because I mean, if you know Arduino, you just analog read and then, you know, use your if statements or whatever for how you want to control the output from you know what you're reading the sensor value for so with that i hope you found this information useful um if you did please give us a thumbs up would appreciate it very much um consider subscribing we uh put videos up uh i'm trying to get a few a week uh, i'm trying to do at least two three a week and maybe we'll get some more uh Rarely, I only get one a week, but we're working on doing more videos, so consider subscribing. Well, thanks for joining us here today. Have a great day, and have fun building.